What's good, YouTube? So ever since I started dedicating myself to my YouTube career, I started thinking, why not basketball as well? So today, I'm trying to practice my, my free throw shots and my jump shots, I guess, until my mentor comes so he can actually teach us how to do real free throws. So let's actually get into it. Look, I am battle ready. Look, look at that, boom. Here's the thing about my free throw shots, right? Like, I think there's something wrong with my actual jump shot because it's literally hit or miss. The ball is literally gonna go in or is gonna go way off. And obviously it's 50-50 for everybody, but like I know, let me show you. So as you can see, with one hand, it's uh, really easy for me to calculate where the shot is going just with one hand. But the problem is, the moment I put my left hand on there, as you can see, my jump shot, like, hold on. No, I take that back. I'm gonna hit three shots. Watch this. I just proved my point. Thank you very much. So now that you're here, can you um, please teach me how to do better free throws and for the chat as well? When I step to the free throw line, and I'm just joking around, I may shoot a free throw with my eyes closed. With my eyes closed? How? Nothing changes. When you step to the free throw line, and you go through your ritual, and you set your target, and now that you close your eyes, you think the dimensions change? No. You're still 15 feet from the basket. The rim's still 10 feet high. So everything should be kept on the same plane. And if you have total comfort in your free throw stroke or your fundamentals, you should be able to make that shot. So, good practice tool is to start, go through your ritual, see everything, make the first one with your eyes open. So now it isn't, you have everything in rhythm. A lot of guys who don't have comfort in their free throw shot, when they close their eyes, you either shoot it short, shoot it right, shoot it left. And that's a good way to test your fundamentals under pressure. Because if you can shoot them with your eyes closed, quite naturally you can shoot them when there's six or 4,000 people paying attention to your shot. Okay, chat. so basically we're going to shoot with our eyes closed. We're going to practice free throws three times. The first time with our eyes open, the second time with our eyes closed, and the third time with our eyes closed. But the third time, I'm going to imagine that there's 64,000 people watching me when I make it. So it's more intensified. But here we go. See that chat all right coach what's next another tool for getting the correct backspin as i talked earlier about once the ball hits the rim and starts to bounce around a little bit may give you a better chance of making a shot is when you're laying at home at night and you're really bored take your basketball which you're probably sleeping with if you're a basketball player and shoot straight up lay your head on the pillow shoot it straight up and try to have the basketball come back on your nose now, if you can do that and do it with some consistency, then you get the correct form of a shot. Not just a free throw shot, but a shot in general. And the best way to do that is take it and finish it. What I used to do is I try to shoot it straight up and catch it right on my nose. And as you can see, the finish and everything, the backspin is perfect. You're shooting it off of these three fingers. Now, if you're using these two fingers, the ball is going to start to go left or right and it's not going to end up on your nose, it's probably going to end up on your ear or miss your head to the left. And these are thoughts that you should work on, just trying to enhance your correct follow-through and your correct form as a shooter. They work for me, 
They may not work for you, but at least give it a try. Next thing you know, you'll be a better free throw shooter. All right, so basically we're gonna try to do 10 of those correctly, three fingers, correctly. And then we'll, we'll see if I could dunk. And then just maybe we might learn how to dunk today. So I'll probably get our jump correct. I don't know, but I'm gonna ask him afterwards because he's doing something right now. But I'm gonna practice those. When he gets back, I'm gonna ask him about how I can get my, my dunks better. But let's go. I'm, okay, so what I realized about that technique is I really was using my two fingers and it was going everywhere like you said. So, WW advice, but let me see how well I could jump now before it gets here and see if I'm actually capable of dunking. And no, I can't dunk with the ball because that's practically impossible. I am only a human being, okay? But yeah, let's see how high I could jump and let's see if we get any tips and tricks from Michael Jordan himself about how I can better my jumps and my dunks. So this is how high I could jump so far. Personally, I believe if you give me like, like two, three weeks of exercise, I probably could dunk. If I could touch the rim, I could most definitely dunk. So I will be touching the rim. Now, I have made it a mission to make sure that I will dunk by the end of the year. Whew. Inshallah. Yo, can somebody please donate to me like three more feet so I could dunk? Any amount of feet is, it's helpful for this charity. Okay, so I was trying to dunk, right? What do you think I should do to get better at my jumps? Like, I don't think my vertical is gonna let me go any higher than I already am. I really don't understand the physics of jumping and how you increase that. Uh, the things that I can say that I did when I was a kid to improve my, my jumping are very basic things. I used to ride the bicycle a lot. I used to work on jumping. I used to just try to jump and try to dunk. And I guess if you exercise that muscle to that activity, somehow it's going to improve. How much it improves, no one can really dictate who's going to be the, the greatest leaper of all time or when the next player is going to be a great leaper. But those are the things that if you work on your jumping to some degree, it's going to improve some. Will it maximize your opportunities? No. I think to be a better basketball player, you don't have to jump high. You just have to be smart in how you utilize the skill that you've been given. Well, there you have it, guys. I guess I either got to eat my vegetables, drink more milk, or probably get some leg extensions. Either way, uh, I'm just going to be a better hooper. But dunking, that's still on my list. One year, in one year, I will be dunking, inshallah, because that's ridiculous. There's no way I'm bound to this height and I can't dunk. You got me back. Apart from that, thank y'all for watching. Next time y'all see me, I will be dunking. Oh, no, 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 because I'm gonna drop more basketball videos before that. So next year, next year, inshallah, I will be dunking at the same core right here. Right here, look. Actually, wait. Never mind. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. Stay safe.